If you're a small business owner, you might be looking for a tool that can allow you to plan your social media content, um, whether ahead of time or even just get you some places to store ideas. And Notion to me is the perfect tool for that. And so that's why today I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a content calendar system and marketing plan for yourself within Notion. This is part two of our five part series on Notion for Business. We did a ton of videos about this in the past around content, but it has been about seven months since I've done a video and I thought I would show you guys my updated template as well as how I use it to plan my content and my marketing. So make sure to subscribe for more videos along the series and make sure to check out both my content calendar template as well as our bundle, which gets you access to all of the trainings, all of the things you need to know about Notion. So let's get into it. All right, so here's an updated look at my content marketing calendar planning template. I wanted to show you guys specifically some updates that I've made as well as I wanted to just walk through my, I guess, thoughts now. So the first thing that you're gonna see is your actual calendar. Right now, obviously there's nothing on it because this is a template. You can fill that out for yourself. The first two things that you'll notice here is I've added a few different options to this template, including things like offers and lead bandits as well as ways that you can start to build your lead generation um, and the lead getter. So this is actually kind of structured in his book, which I thought was very well laid out and I thought I would share it here. So the first thing that you'll see is your offers. So this is basically within the larger pillar structure and under the business projects. You'll see I have a ton of different uh, projects that you could be working on. These are offers, things that you sell, things that you're trying to make money from. These are all paid options. Um, you can see that uh, a lot of these also have and relate to apps that you use, which are in the app folder, as well as different marketing goals and campaigns. I also have things like launch date. So when is that coming out? Um, so some things have already been launched, but you can also share your launches as well. The next one is lead magnet. This is a great place where you can actually come up with ideas to get people to your website, whether it's a free offer or a webinar or something. And then you can also link it to what the call to action is. What is it leading them to? Because this is an important step is to kind of build out your lead magnets. So this is a great place to store that information um, specifically. Then we've got the, the four different types of lead generation. There's warm outreach, cold outreach, content, and paid ads. The first one, we've got warm outreach. This is basically both email marketing as well as reaching out to people that you know. Um, so I have kind of both of those here. This is a, a shortcut to your email marketing automations area as well as you can start to filter if you have people that you're reaching out to, maybe on LinkedIn, you can start to again, build that out and sort it um, by that as well. And then we've got cold outreach. So cold outreach is if you have like um, an email list that you're sending to that isn't your list, maybe you're prospecting and you're just sending straight up cold DMs or cold emails to people. This is a way you can track it. You can also track who's doing it if you have like a sales team and their status where they're at. So again, kind of like a CRM as well. Then we've got content. I've done a ton of videos on this. Um, this is basically showing all of the different types of um, you know, the, the daily buckets, the content types, hashtags, quote bank. If you want to, I have a whole video about walking through this, so you can check that out. I also have shortcuts to the different uh, social media platforms. Um, all of that also goes in here as well. So you could have that as part of that, and we'll kind of circle back to that at the end. Um, so we've got content, and then you've got paid ads. So if you're running any type of ads, this is a great way to start to track your campaigns, what, again, you're, you're selling, and maybe your budget. You can add some other properties as well, like maybe A-B testing or, or um, images. It's, it's, it's up to you. I think that's very helpful to have. The next step we have is the lead getters. So this is tracking things like customers, employees, affiliates, and agencies. So again, all I've done here is I've added links to, for example, the CRM. These are your current clients, people that you're working with, um, as well as the testimonials. So you, I've actually linked it over so you can have the CRM linked over, and then you could also put the testimonial there. I do this myself personally, so I have it listed. Um, so I can, if I ever need to use a testimonial, I have that linked with each individual customer or client that I have. Um, with employees, same thing. You can put them all in your CRM, you can tag them as employee, start to track them, just their information. It's just a basic part of that. Um, I've got affiliates, so again, you can also put those people in your CRM. You can start uh, tracking who is an affiliate, who has started referring you people, and then different agencies and people that you work with. So different companies, um, I just have a link to that as well. 
So everything is sorted again in my pillar system because this is part of the business database. I only have um, these four options inside of this business one, which is the content and marketing calendar. Highly recommend watching my pillar video or my uh, video about how I organize my life into 13 pillars. It really does help make more sense this whole system. I also do have a knowledge vault um, area. So I do have all these different topics inside of this. So you can also see, I believe it's in, um, yeah, so you can see I've organized it again by the different things that I use. Um, and that is another great way to organize. And if I go back, um, so I have kind of all the different things you need to know, PR, that sort of thing. Um, and then I've got down here, like again, a link to your, your outcome marketing goals. This is really important is to start with your goals, figure out what you wanna get from each thing. It links it over to the projects and you can also track where you're at. So going back to the content calendar, one of the things I realized when I was doing content calendars on Notion over the years is I used to have a piece of content for every platform, but what I realized over time is there's kind of two different kinds of content. There's long form and there's short form. So what I've done is I've organized it. So for example, a long form to me is either a YouTube video or a podcast. So having that as part of the long form content area, you can start to plan out again, you know, what's your priority? What's the, what's the status? What is the call to action that it's doing? Um, and then I also have short form content. So maybe it's a reel or a TikTok. Um, starting to just list off, again, ideas. This is kind of where I ideate. That's why I put brainstorm content ideas and topics. Um, and then you can start to plan it out if you want to. If you open any one of these, you'll see that there is an area where you can do brain dumps, um, where you put the title and the name, the hook, the intro, the content points, and the call to action. So having that be part of this uh, database is really helpful as you're starting to plan it out. So that is a quick walkthrough of the updates to my content calendar template. This is included, um, you can buy this for $15 on its own, or it is included as part of the bundle, the Notion All Access, um, Notion Foundations All Access. Um, I have things also like apps, um, you, so you can list off all the apps that you use. This is a great if you have a team and you're you know, onboarding them and they need to know what apps you use. I kind of have a ton listed already. Um, I've also got things like brand assets. So what are your fonts? What are your colors? Um, this is really helpful for if you're creating content. Again, I have the full video that kind of walks through this template as well here, so you can watch that as well. And it kind of walks through kind of this, the step-by-step things that you want to do for yourself. So I hope that this is helpful. I've definitely updated it based off of the $100 million leads book that I just read, because I think it is a really great way to expand just beyond content into your entire marketing planning, um, including lead generation, lead magnets, um, getting your offer set up, um, starting to work on maybe affiliates or, or working with, with referrals. Um, I think this is a really great way to set it up. So hope you guys um, like that. Um, I'll also leave the link to the book below. Highly recommend checking it out. It's $10 to buy the book on Kindle, or you can listen to it for free on Spotify. I highly recommend Alex Ramosi's book. It's really, really good. Um, highly recommend him. If you're in the marketing game, you definitely need to check it out. So anyways, hope that you guys like this quick walkthrough video, and I'll see you next time.